defying its name, Death Valley has come to life. This is a superbloom, a once in a decade event in the hottest, driest place in America. There are some flowers every year, but rarely like this. The usually barren desert on the California Nevada border is a sea of gold. So the combination of desert and bloom is rather unique. You don't want to miss it. Flash flooding last October caused this phenomenon. The valley received twice its annual rainfall in a month, washing away the protective coating on seeds that can lie dormant in the dust for decades. If you look hard enough, you can find up to 20 different flower species. To get up every morning and as I drive to work, I'm seeing those flowers every day. It really does lift my spirits. The spectacle is attracting thousands of visitors daily. The last super bloom was in 2005. 1998 before that. Oh, I know that they're yellow, I know they're purple, I know they're blue, and that's about the extent of it. <laughs> and beautiful. But, uh, and beautiful. After first blooming in December, the flowers are on the move. They're heading further north and higher up the mountains as summer approaches and the temperature heats up. In just a few weeks' time, much of what you can see here will be gone. Spring rains could extend the bloom, but time is running out. Australians, please come on out. Yep, buy your tickets now. <laughs> if you miss it, don't worry. Just be patient. As the colour fades and flowers wilt away, they'll leave plenty of seeds for next time. In Death Valley, California, Alex Hart, 7 News.